What's up, world? It's your boss, International Zone. I'm here at Liberty International Airport in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, flight going out to Houston and then from Houston to Panama City. Start my new adventure. So stay with me. It's early. Uh, nobody's hardly here in the airport. It's uh, almost 4 a.m. It's 3.58. So let's see what this journey uh, brings me. me to show my uh, COVID results here. They just asked me if I had them. Um, when I checked in for my boarding passes in Newark, they asked to see my paperwork for the results for the COVID, and that was it. They didn't ask to check in or anything like that. Once I got to board the plane, they didn't ask to board again. So I guess the next time I'll have to show it once I land in Panama. And I have a printout of the migration forms as well. Just keep you updated, stay tuned. through immigration it wasn't bad I had my paperwork the forms I filled out online on the migration website they didn't even ask for that so then I filled out this form they didn't even ask for this they just wrote everything in they basically wanted the address of where I was staying and the flight number that was it I saw a few people having some complications with their COVID test results because of the way it was written out from the hospital. It was a little confusion, but I looked at mine and they just, I just left, so. I'm here, pick up my baggage. Then head to Airbnb. <laughs> This is the uh, Airbnb. I only booked it for one week, although I might be staying two weeks because I was not sure, uh, you know, if I would like it. I'm very picky, as you guys know, about places to stay. 
So my first impression, the neighborhood seems a little rough, you know? The neighborhood seems a little rough, but the place per se, is looks gorgeous, you know? The place looks gorgeous. Huge one bedroom apartment, beautiful kitchen. I mean, in that perspective, and here is the bathroom. It's really nice, honestly. But it kind of looks like it's in the hood, you know? There's a park right across the street. The people standing outside. Um, I guess that's a corner store and stuff like that. But it feels a little hoodish. When I came down the street, I was like, I know it's the Costco Viejo, it's where the nightlife should be. But I just have to tell you on my first impression. Now it's freezing in here. He got two, an uh, AC in the living room, an AC in the kitchen, and an AC in the bedroom. So as far as, and it's a little noisy outside. But as far as, as the, um, the apartment, the apartment is beautiful. Now I gotta walk around and see if I can find me some groceries. And um, the apartment was like $69 a night with the cleaning fees and taxes, I think it was 590 something, which is not cheap. I got sold on the, on the aesthetics, you know, but uh, the neighborhood, it could be good or bad. It could be nice local, get a feel for the locals. Last time I was here, I stayed in San Francisco, which felt very much like a Manhattan type of thing. And it was like, it was kind of bougie over there. Restaurants, everything was, was kind of bougie. It was nice though. I would stay there again. That apartment had a sauna too. So, yeah. But let's see, let's see. Let's see how it all goes. I mean, I'm only, I booked for a week. And I'm gonna, be patient and see how it goes, because usually I'm like, I'm out of here. And I just take the loss and leave. But I don't want to do that, but this looks real local. It's a dope apartment. Sorry, I did that whole thing with the mask on. It's terrible that we get so used to wearing these damn masks. So I did the whole thing well, I was talking with the max on all this time. But yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not going to be so quick to get up out of here, but it was difficult to find for sure. And um, I don't know. I got to go to the bathroom. It's your boy, International Zone, Barber World TV.